Hello friends and uh, welcome back in the last class right uh, we have discussed about the bash rc and the alias right and uh, in this session we're going to talk about the creation folder creation and deletion okay so what i'm going to do is first let's talk about listing of folders so what i'll do is so you, you have like ls command okay ls command which will list uh, you can use like ls hyphen al or uh, ll okay so ls hyphen ltr so a lot of lot, lot of different types of commands. so in general right what i do i use this ll command so but this won't work uh, in 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 sometimes it won't work in a uh, in other this is ubuntu right how can i know what is the version i'm using uh, using the ubuntu what you can do is cat uh, etc lsb release right if i type it you will get something like this so in red hat i think it is uh, etc slash red hat release actually okay like a uh, cat uh, etc in, in in red hat linux by the way etc and uh, red hat uh, hyphen release actually in in red hat uh, you will get it but right now this is a ubuntu machine so you're not getting anything in ubuntu it will be cat etc lsb release okay so it is 1604 i mean 1604 xenial so what exactly i'm trying to say is sometimes this ll command don't work that means there is no alias for that one in that one you can actually add this like ll is equal to uh, like this ls hyphen al it, it, it works easy okay so if i type ll it works actually so what i'm trying to say is uh, let me say let me show you something here if i type i'm right now in the root folder if you see so if i type ll right on the left side you are seeing two type of things here one is somewhere like it is showing d d some it is actually showing only a hyphen on the left actually check it out now let me tell you whenever you see a d here so you can you can check it out so nano right there is a d so snap there is a d dot ssh there is a d let me tell you when wherever you see a d it is a directory or simply a folder you can call it as a directory or it can call it as a folder okay now uh, now wherever you don't see a, a, a hyphen actually instead of d that is a file okay so what will happen so when you create a direct when you create a folder right it will should it should actually show you a d here so how to create a directory okay mk dir i'll say test folder and hit enter now if i type ll right you can clearly see it is showing a d actually now i'm going to do something like i'm going to create a file this time i'm going to use touch test file now if i use control l it will clear the screen if type ll you can see test file so in the test file you can see there is a hyphen as well as you have a folder here like this with a d so the folder will always have the d option we're going to talk about folder and file permissions in a separate class but uh, in this class we're going to talk about only what we can do over the folder actually it's fine so next is now uh, you can actually create the files from, there is no need to go inside the folder what i can do if i want to create some files i can actually put like touch folder i'll say file 1 file 2 file 3 similarly i can run from if you see test from the outside test folder it will display the files inside okay now if i want to remove this whole folder right how can i do that so i'll say rmdir that means mkdir for make directory okay rmdir is for remove the directory remove the directory and then if i type test folder you will get error so what is error you are getting okay so it is saying that one it is saying this is this is not an empty directory you can't you can't actually delete an empty directory for first you need to delete the files and then you need to directory there is a way to do the completely delete the directory but we'll do that one now the point is can i create a one more directory inside this directory yes it can be done so what i'll do mkdir i can do from like this from the outside itself test folder i'll say folder one <clears throat> So folder 2 and I can say folder 3. So if I type LL 
test folder you can see folder 1 folder 2 and folder 3 it is also having the d symbol check it out okay now inside that one so inside i can uh, create inside the folder one can i create test folder i mean another folders actually so what i can do i can actually go i can do something like this uh, mkdir test folder folder one from there itself i'm going to say a1 b1 sorry b1 so if i type ll test folder you see these folders inside that one if i go for folder one you see a1 and b1 so now this is little tricky right if i want to see this is very very uh, uh like uh, taking taking my time to list out what are the folders is there is easy way to check it out what are all the folders inside this folder subfolders and everything so for that what i can do i can install a software actually to install a software uh, what we can do is we we need to use something called as apt here okay so apt if i type apt right you see a lot of like list search show install everything first i'm going to run something called apt update this will actually update the packages. We'll have a separate uh, session for this one, but simply I want to show you it will update the packages. Now I'm going to do apt install tree. It will ask for my permission. Oh, I thought it will ask. Yes, actually, it looks like it's installing. So tree is a good software which will be used. Right. Now I'll check it out. If I type tree and uh, type uh, test folder, right? If you see, it will clearly show me the whole folder structure. Okay, it is saying I have three files here and folder one, folder two, folder three, and I have A1 and B1. Inside the folder one, I have A1 and B1. Now let's put some files in A1 and B1. How? So I'm going to put a touch folder and I'm going to put folder one. I'm going to put a1 I'm going to put file 1 so how can I run multiple commands from the same so what I can do I can use and and I'm going to give 2 and again give and 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 I'm going to give 3 so if I hit enter it should be created now again I'm going to run tree and I'm going to give test folder hit enter now you see test folder folder a a1 under this one file 1 file 2 file 3 this is how you can put uh, uh, you can actually list out a whole folder structure which will be helpful for you this tree command okay now how can i remove this folder so one way to remove the folder is right directly as i told you that you can't do it right i cannot delete it rmdir if i put test folder it will give you error so what exactly which folder you want to delete so let me tell you this is a dangerous command <laughs> so very very uh, be very very careful so what i'll do is rm i can force it actually uh, first i'm going to run a tree so rm hyphen f i'm going to give test folder folder one and a1 so if i do this it is actually saying cannot remove easy directory right so what you do is you can go give something called as rf r is for recursive hit enter okay now if i tree test folder now you can see like folder a1 a1 is deleted okay be very careful when you are trying to do hyphen r r for recursive it will delete whatever is there inside so if i want to delete the b1 what i can do i can b1 okay so again tree test folder you can see it is there actually similarly if i don't want to create the whole uh, remove the whole test folder right what i can do rm hyphen rf recursive and force folder hit enter so this is how you can actually create a folder as well as remove the folder forcefully if we want to remove the file simply for example i have the file called so simply rm test file so it will be deleted 
okay this is how you can create as well as delete a change directory you already know for example if i want to go into etc etc ssh folder if i want to go something like this if i want to come down cd and uh, give a give a tilde symbol to go to the home home folder we already seen it in the last class but this is how we have our uh, we have what exactly we learned in this one we have uh, folder creation deletion and listing listing using the tree command tree command okay so that's it guys uh, that's it for this now so let's meet in the next uh, next uh, next class and we'll discuss about the uh, something else okay i don't remember what exactly i need to say but i'll prepare some commands and i will explain the next class see you in the next class bye folks